Good morning! Welcome back or welcome to Miss Finance if this is your first time. On this channel I'm going to go through various tutorials around Crosby payments, any questions that you might have on anything AAT related or finance related in general. So today I'm going to go through break-even analysis and I'd like to give a specific shout out to Emma who's requested this. So let's just get straight into it. So break-even analysis, I would say that there's actually four parts to this. And the reason I say that is because we have something called total contribution. We have something else called contribution per unit. We have something called fixed costs. And then we also have break even. So put simply, the way that it works in reality is if this here was your income statement or your profit and loss, you'd have sales here, which we know are a credit, and then we would have things like rent, rates, etc. here, which we know are a debit in the PL, and then we would have electricity over here just a bit. and then you'd have any profit before tax and that's pretty much what it looks like so over here when we're working out total contribution and don't get worried about this word contribution all we're doing is working out sales less variable cost and that there will be your contribution in short if we do it this way just to help your understanding a little bit if i put sales in here the variable cost in here then this here will be your contribution okay so we'll take variable cost off sales to get contribution easy peasy. The reason that we want to work out what the contribution is, is because we have fixed cost. So we want to know what is the figure, i.e. almost a profit, but what is the figure, the amount that we need to make to cover our fixed cost. And that is what contribution is. So it's a contribution towards fixed costs. If anyone's ever wondering why they called it contribution in the first place. So that's all it is. So there are two formulas I said. So we've already spoken through the first one, which was sales total minus variable cost total. The second one, which I would argue is ever so slightly more important to you when you're doing your AAT studies, and I only say that because they can ask you more questions on this second one than they can ask on the first one. So this is to work out the contribution per unit, i.e. how many units do I need to sell to cover all of my fixed costs? And again, we're almost using the same thing, so it's quite simple. So it's just the sales price per unit. So how much can I sell a particular item for? Minus your variable costs, which gives you your contribution per unit and then we would take whatever fits costs are divided by the contribution per unit. So let's do an example on here. So if we have sales price per unit which is two pounds 
we have rent which is 5k per annum and that just means 5k per year and we have rates of 2k per annum and then we have electricity which is 50p per unit and then gas which is a whole 10p per unit so let's change the pen colour slightly step one let's work out what the contribution per unit is so that's going to be sales price minus 50p minus 10p because this one here is a variable cost this is a variable cost this is a fixed cost and this is a fixed cost so let's get a calculator out here don't necessarily need to for this but go and need it later anyway so we get one pound of 40 here now step two is then to work out the volume so how many do we need to make of this unit in order to cover all of these fits costs that we have so if we take 7k divide that by one pound 40 that's going to give us the volume that we need to make so that so that gives us exactly 5,000 units that we need to make so let's do another example something satisfying about clearing a board so in this case sales price per unit is now five pounds and here we're not told what specifically fits costs what's variable costs so let's just say that we have repairs and maintenance which is one pound and twenty per unit we have gas that is 1k per annum and we also have to pay 10p per unit here and then we have water which is 6k per annum or per year and we also have to pay 20p per unit here so let's go to step one work out the contribution so that's the sales of five pound per unit minus 0 0.10 for gas minus 0 0.20 for water and also one pound 24 repairs and maintenance let's get our trusted calculator out so five minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 minus 1.2 that gives us three pound fifty contribution per unit step two let's get all of our fixed costs so we've got 1k and 6k so again we've ended up with seven thousand pounds divide that by our contribution per unit of three pound fifty let's see how many we need to make to break even so we only need to make two thousand units so i hope that's been helpful to you in some way and i hope it answers your question emma if you've got any specific examples of questions that you want me to go through then by all means put them on the facebook group chat or i've also now created another group chat called study support for aat students that you're all welcome to join by all means and if you stick questions on there then i can quite easily answer them on screen and get to them quick without having to filter through all of my other notifications on facebook so if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up because it does help with the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing because i will be doing more videos like this for you and again if there's any specific things you want me to go through I'm more than happy to do so otherwise I shall see you on the next video and thank you so much for watching